Tonight on a story we first brought you last night, a 47 year old Romulus man charged today in the attempted sexual assault and robbery on a Metro Park trail yesterday. The arraignment turned out much more eventful than expected. Local force Rod Maloney has the story. Rod? Yes, Karen, you know, Karen, this is a situation where arraignments usually go very quickly and easily, but not in this case. And now the suspect is behind bars with the great possibility that he could spend the rest of his life there. Here on Township Police say they caught Darian Noel Fickling with the victim's cell phone connecting him to the crime. And if you listen closely as he speaks in his arraignment today to a magistrate, you will hear him pretty much confess. I know what's going on. I know what I did. I know what I did wrong. Okay, don't, don't talk about what happened on June 6th. You want to you share that conversation with your attorney? Fickling's attorney will have an even tougher job as here in Township Police said he already confessed to them. Chief Everett Robbins has a name for Fickling. He was a predator, so yes, he, he circled her. He was looking for basically any victim that he could come up with. Making the hearing even more bizarre, after police made their case with the judge, Fickling, a married father of five with one on the way, asked... I don't think that's going to happen, Mr. Fickling. I'm going to set your body at $100,000 cash or surety. I wish you luck, Mr. Fickling. Afterward, Fickling's wife, Crystal, spoke in her husband's defense. He's never heard anybody. He's a good father, a good husband, good community, helps people in the community. He helps with their kids. Uh, my daughter's friend stay the night. He's not a monster. $100,000 bond that he's on means that he has to have the whole amount in order to be able to get out of jail. His wife also said that there may be some what, what a lawyer would call diminished capacity. She said that he has some <coughs> issues in that area and that perhaps could end up being the defense. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.